What is up guys, Austin Nerd Show here and today we're reviewing Jurassic World The Fallen Kingdom. So I just got back from seeing the movie and so I'm just going to do a review of it. So I'll start off, I guess, no spoilers at first part and then spoilers in the second. Not that I'm going to go into all bunch of detail and everything. But we'll start off with the movie. Was it good or not? My opinion is yes. I definitely enjoyed the movie but I do want to give some background. Jurassic Park, the first one, is probably like my favorite movie of all time. Like my number one movie ever is the first Jurassic Park movie. And then we have Jurassic World and I absolutely love that too. So it's my cl very close second behind. Now I will say this movie is definitely not in front of the first Jurassic World movie. This is definitely behind that. I don't know on the scale, but as we get into and talk about it, you'll see kind of where it lands with all the Jurassic Park and World movies together. Um, so I definitely enjoyed it. So if you like Jurassic World, I would assume you enjoy this movie just as much. Um, there's some stuff I did not like about that um, we'll get into, but... Um, like I said, it's not a perfect movie, um, but it is a lot better than I was expecting. I was going in with low expectations and came out with um, it like, you know, it was much better than I expected. But it is very predictable and um, not very overall creative. It relies a lot on the old that we'll talk about. Um, so let's just talk about some other movie related stuff. Um, the characters, I liked all the characters, you know, the same returning characters. They had some new characters, but you didn't really get to know or really get into any of the additional characters they brought in there was very few of them like there was one character a little girl you got to you know find out a little bit about her and then the old guy in the movie which i really like the connections and stuff they brought in with that um but then like the other like the young two younger people the like uh i forget what her name is but she's like a um uh, scientists of some sort, you know, works is like a vet veterinarian for dinosaurs or something, even though she's never met a dinosaur, but she, that's like what she studies. And then this like a sciencey or this uh, techie um, guy, you didn't don't really get to like like uh, find out anything about them personally, just you know what they are on the outside type of thing. Um, so character development isn't really you know that good with anything. Like I said, just continuation of the people we already know is pretty much what it's based on. Uh, the dinosaurs, I really enjoyed the dinosaurs, so we got some new dinosaurs thrown in there that we haven't got to see in the past. So of course you have your, your classic, the T-Rex, you had a Triceratops, um, a Patasaurus, which are the long necks, and you got Brachiosauruses as well, which they'll talk about that, uh, one of those scenes that was like the saddest scene, at least personally to me, that I've like seen in a movie for a while. Um, um, but then we got new dinosaurs, so we got um, a Stiggy Malak, which if you saw my video that went up today, the Lego video, we did a review of the set of that comes with that thing that I really like. It's like a um, Pachycephalosaurus, but it's a different version. It looks a little different. Um, we got different type of Triceratops. I don't know what it's called, though. We got um, Carno, or as in uh, Carnosaurus, as I can remember what they were called, Baryonyx, Allosaurus, um, and I think that was pretty much... It of the new stuff enclosed which we saw in the last um, Jurassic World and everything so we just got some more new dinosaurs in there which I really enjoyed getting to see new and different dinos not just the same continuous ones over and over that you saw from like Jurassic Park the first one and everything um, and I don't know what else the story was you know as I mentioned earlier predictable I like the ending outcome like I personally like that because you know builds for the future but it's kind of you know like crappy what happened and go on but the story is very similar which um I'll just go ahead and say um, it's very similar to Jurassic World or Jurassic Park The Lost World or Lost World Jurassic Park whatever the second movie is very similar to that so if you've seen that movie that's kind of what you're expecting to see in this one um, I don't know what else to say beyond that but I like I said I really enjoy it so if you like the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movie definitely you'll definitely like this I think and if you like The Lost World especially too um, you'll like this as well um, so that's probably gonna be it um, so yeah, I think that's gonna be oh and just as a thing pretty much a lot of the stuff you see is in the trailers So they don't really hide except for the very end thing which isn't really a huge reveal But it's nothing really big and major a lot of the stuff is in the trailer Which is what kind of sucks about stuff like this They put everything in the trailer and then there's no real surprises or anything that go on So you get to see like the genetically modified the Indoraptor and that's the one thing I don't like about these movies is they hold, do the whole genetic modification, which if you think about how life works and how we're always trying to cure and reprogram and do genetic stuff to 
um, help cure like diseases and everything. That's kind of what they're doing since they have the ability to do that, where they don't have, um, they don't allow like ethically the um, people like scientists and stuff to study that sort of stuff in human beings to modify our genes and everything. Um, so it makes sense that they are doing that with dinos since they have this thing to do it with. Um, but I just don't like that they keep doing. It. I just want like normal plain dinosaurs, actual dinosaurs you see, and then you know just bring in different types of actual real dinosaurs and make them like the villains of the movie. You could say. Um, but of course there's twists and turns with characters, you know, person that seems good and then they turn bad and it's the whole expected thing you see in every movie. But that's going to be for spoilers, so we're going to get into, or for non-spoilers, so we're going to get into spoilers now. So, of course, at the very end we got to see that all the dinosaurs, so of course, as from the trailer, the original park, Isla Nublar is, or not the original, but the Jurassic World Park, which is the original as well. Isla Nublar has a volcano that's erupting, so they're trying, these people are trying to get um, all the dinosaurs off the island, and they use Claire, which was from the last one, and then they bring in Owen to get Blue, the Velociraptor, since um, that's the only one left remaining. And it's all, they want him, obviously, because of the, or her, because of the connection that Owen was able to control her and get her to follow orders and everything. And so they have this Lockwood guy, the old guy, which that's what I liked of the connection that him and John Hammond were like the original founders and the, you know, everything of this whole, you know, re bringing back dinosaurs to life. But there was a split between them that made them not friends anymore. And it was found out that later in the movie, of course, that the little girl in it is what was the separation because the, um, this guy, um, Lock or yeah, Lockwood, I think was his name. Um, use genetic modification and stuff like that to clone his what I believe was his daughter into getting a granddaughter and stuff and so that's why um, I guess ethically John Hammond didn't like it cause their separation don't know if it makes all the sense because the little girl's really young but that could be you know genetic modification of keeping her young for a while or it could have been something related to the daughter and then now it's passed down to her like he's done it twice or something um, not exactly sure there how that connects, but that's what they made it, and I really enjoyed that. Um, so they're bringing all the dinosaurs back, and you know they they join this group that the like Lockwood guy supposedly hired. You know his financial associate or like uh, financial officer type person has hired all these people. Then it turns out when once they finally find Blue and try to capture and everything that it's obviously they turn as with every Jurassic Park movie. There's always got to be someone that turns sides and is evil and everything. And so that's when we start to get into the Lost World stuff. So we have this group of people on the island trying to capture and round up all these dinosaurs just like you did in Lost World where you had the engine people all in there, you know, tranking and taking out all the dinosaurs, trying to capture as many as they could to take them back to San Diego, California to put them in a um, Jurassic Park in San Diego. And so they somewhat do similar, and so the guy, you know, is telling Claire, oh, we're getting these, we're going to send them off to this other separate island that we have that's perfectly set up, everything meets the, but, um, you know, everything the dinosaurs need, and it's perfectly caps, like, surrounded so they can't go anywhere, and they'll be able just to live there and be free for the rest of their life and have no issues. But, of course, then they find out that they're actually capturing them and bringing them back because this the financial officer guy is actually evil, and he's working, you know, under the um, Lockwood guy under his nose, you know, or behind his back, I should say, in this stuff, trying to make money, all this other money and stuff. And they're actually bringing him back and selling the dinosaurs off to high, powerful people in the world. Like it said, like pharmaceutical companies, gang, like leaders and stuff, like Russian people, chi um, Chinese people, all sorts of people with a lot of money are here to buy these dinosaurs and use them for whatever they want. And so that's when you get, you know, they're taking them from the island into, instead of Lost World, where they took them to a, a new park, they were bringing them in to sell off the people. And then also you do make the whole Indoraptor thing to make this lethal, you know, war animal with the Indoraptor, where it's um, made of up of the Indominus Rex and the of Velociraptor, which is why they need blue, so that they could cre create more. And of course, I like the beginning where they're getting the Indominus Rex bone. Of course, from the first movie, it was at the bottom of the Mosasaur pit since the Mosasaur reached up and grabbed the Indominus Rex and pulled it down. So this, you see the skeleton down there in the water and they cut it open and then the Mosasaur is there and it eats the thing and escapes, but they get the bone out and so it's, you know, able to create more stuff. And so that's just pretty much the whole thing is, is then they um, 
the Owen and Claire and stuff are all in this Lockwood Estates, this big giant mansion house and where they're selling to the dinosaurs and they try to help free the dinosaurs and all this sort of stuff. The Indoraptor gets out and it's going after this little girl in the movie that's the granddaughter of Lockwood and everything and just chasing her all through the house and everything and it's just like I said, the movie isn't perfect. Like, I hate the whole Indoraptor thing and the chase through this one, you know, house and everything. And that's, you know, this super alpha predator and everything. But it's not as bad as I thought. It didn't last nearly as long. And I like how they kill it by falling through the ceiling onto a Triceratops skull or head skull. And so it's impaled on the horns of the Triceratops. And I really like that and how Blue was a part of doing that and everything, helping save the day. But I like, um, so at the very end, obviously, all the dinosaurs, there's, you know, it was an issue with a tank leaking. I forget what the gas was, but it's, a, you know, a gas that would kill them and everything. And they're all trapped there in their cages. And so Claire wants to save them, but she decides at the last minute not to because, you know, if they release them, they're going to be released out into the United States because they are in California. And they're going to be released out into our world. And, you know, it's dangerous because there's carnivores and herbivores and all sorts of stuff released into the world. And so that's not good, obviously, to have. And she, so she decides against it. But then this little girl, the clone girl, ends up hitting it and releasing them. And they go out into the world, you know, kill the um, financial guy and stuff as he's trying to escape with the piece of the uh, Indominus Rex bone and everything. And so it... You know, the bad guy gets his due justice or whatever by getting killed by the T-Rex and everything. But it releases them into the world. So that's when, um, as we see from one of the scenes or whatever, from a trailer where the T-Rex is roaring at a lion. You know, it's released into the world and it comes across the zoo and it roars at a lion and stuff. And so that's what the whole thing ends up in with all the dinosaurs now released into our world and roaming around. So you get to see Blue because... Um, Chris Pratt tries to, or Owen, whatever, tries to get a, like, come on, come with me, we'll get you to a safe place, but um, she ends up running off, and then you see her running around in, like, a deserty looking area, um, which is kind of cool, because um, those kind of raptors, they call them velociraptors, but they're actually, like, Indo or Utah raptor, or Utah, Utah, it's Utah at the front of raptor, and, because that's around where they were. Um, found and everything and so it's that look you know kind of like a similar area to where it ended up so it's like you know it's going back to its natural home and habitat and we have Jeff Goldblum's character which we see at the beginning of the movie you know doing the whole um thing in front of a bunch of like uh judges I don't know what you call it I assume they were like senators and stuff but at the beginning talking about you know the whole crisis on the park of, with the volcano and everything and then at the very end, he's talking about, you know, this is a big crisis releasing these dinosaurs in the world, and it's no longer our world. They're going to be taking over, and it's like, you know, welcome to Jurassic World because the world's going to be taken over by the dinosaurs, even though they're all female. But, of course, we learned from the first Jurassic Park movie, some of the dinosaurs can change their thing to be able to mate and have babies. But then also the... Um, Doctor guy and like one of the evil people. I can't. It got all fuzzy of who it was. One of the evil people in the movie ended up taking a case with um, like two vials of each dinosaur, kind of like a sample of their DNA. And there was one of each. So I don't know if they took it where it's been modified, where it's one's a male, one's a female, so that way they can do it and breed them, or what the heck's going on? Because it's kind of like the last one where they took the stuff and ran. And so now we got to see where that came from, or where the whole thing was set up in this Lockwood Estates, and that's how they made the Indoraptor and everything. And so I assume they're going to do something similar like that. The bad people, whoever, the Dr. Wu's group in this whole thing is going to do something more with these dinosaurs than they have those vials of each of the things. Um, so I don't know how they're going to spread across their world unless they do something to make more dinos and then release them. But yeah, that's the fun and interesting thing in the movie and how it ends, you know, with uh, the T-Rex coming across, you know, the lion, the raptor coming or running around the desert and it's up on a hill that's overlooking, you know, a new, like, nice build-out neighborhood and everything. So, you know, chaos is going to happen there. There's um, pterodactyls flying across the sky, the Mosasaur swimming in the ocean. So it's just a whole big chaos is getting ready to happen. And then there is an end credit scene. It's nothing really, I would say, worth waiting for. Like, we sat around and it wasn't like there so there was one but it's nothing worth you just at the very end see um some pterodactyls fly around and land on like the eiffel tower thing in las vegas so they're flying around there in las vegas and stuff and then it goes to black and so that's all that the movie or the end credit scene is so it's nothing really worth staying around i mean you get to see more di another scene but it's nothing worth anything so there's no real point of staying around but as i mentioned i think that's going to be it trying to cut this a little short I really enjoyed the movie, like I said, more than I thought it would. It's still not my favorite. I like Jurassic World a lot more because I like the whole going through the park thing and the theme park attraction type stuff that they showed. 
um, to, at the beginning of the movie and everything. Where this, you didn't really get that at all. Um, so I did like the movie a lot. Like I said, I'd probably say out of a rating, probably around a 7 or an 8 out of 10. I'd probably gear more towards the 7, but I did really like it. Um, so I hope this... Uh, informs you of your decision of whether you want to see this movie or not. I know how a lot of people did not like Jurassic World because it was too similar to their first one. And it's, you know, oh, Dinosaur gets loose in the park again. And this one's pretty much a remake of Lost World. And I get that and understand it, but I loved it. I loved the whole dinosaur movies, and I just thought they did a really good job. And like I said, the parts I was worried about didn't last nearly as long. I didn't get to see as much stuff as I wanted to, like the whole where they had the dinos captured towards the end. But they were just, you know, in like this small little... It was like a small room with different, you know, cages off to the side, and they were all, like, stored in there. I wanted to see, you know, a big, like, park full of stored-up dinos and everything, which you didn't get to see, but that's just something I built up in my head, and we didn't get to see. But I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to let me know what your opinion of the movie was. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of our videos, and we'll see you next time.